Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. Alpha 21 and the basis for the Hearthling trait infrastructure is now on the Steam Stable branch and should be coming soon to Humble Bundle. Before we leave this release behind, I'd like to take a moment to explore a really small but cool corner of the alpha, the work that Artist Ali did on the trait icons, and more importantly, on the visual standard that dramatically improves our ability to scale out our UI in general. When Ali first joined Team Stonehearth a year ago, one of her first tasks was to make a buff icon for the then new combat classes, Knight, Cleric, and Archer. She immediately noticed that our icons and the UI in general had no explicit visual language binding the pieces together and no written rules to constrain how to make additions. For example, sometimes we use the color red to mean enemy. Other times, we use it to denote the trapper. It's also a primary color in Rise Children's default templates. Sometimes we make icons that are stylized, and other times they convey tons of detail. The UI worked because Tom made all of it, and his implicit artistic style, the very way he learned how to draw, was what held all the things together. This was less than ideal for several reasons. First of all, and as a new artist, there was no easy way for Allie to extend the UI without worrying that her stuff would look out of place. Secondly, for all of you players, there's no way to associate colors and shapes with any particular significance. Simulation games tend to have UIs that are dense with information. If ours assigned meaning to certain colors and shapes, then you could get more data at a glance and be less distracted by stuff you don't need to care about. Because Ali is fantastic, she managed to absorb Tom's aesthetic enough to jam in new icons for the cleric, knight, and archer, for example, and pick a color scheme for each, but she's always had in mind that before she did serious work on the UI, that we need to figure out a visual language for that feature before continuing. When Ali started working on Alpha 21's trait, she saw immediately that we would want to establish exactly this sort of visual language. Traits, after all, are the passive persistent qualities that make Hearthlings interesting and unique. Trait icons serve as your at-a-glance guide to these conditions, so they need to be just as interesting as they make your Hearthling, easy to find and distinguishable in a group. Instead of agonizing over what each icon should be individually, Ali worked with designer Nikki to make a list of basic rules that all icons must follow, and then designed and polished the icons very quickly within those rules. For all of you who hope to add traits to the game via mods, or for those of you who love visual design, here are her rules. Traits are unique, singular objects that can be easily told apart. Though Ali tried icons that were little scenes involving characters and objects, she saw that seeing a group of these together could get busy really fast. Furthermore, they emphasize the character in the scene instead of the quality of that character. Trait icons are also only ever one symbol. Ali noticed that though it was tempting to clutter the design with supporting details, successful icons just needed to relate tonally to the concept driving the trait. This rabbit book icon has cute details, but doesn't do a better job of conveying the primary idea behind the trait than a simple book. In that vein, trait icons have simple, exaggerated silhouettes. Good visual hierarchy helps icons read quickly and remain distinct at tiny scales. All the final trait icons are built around one major detail, and everything else about those objects is simplified. In these lantern and radish counter examples, you can see that when everything is the focus, nothing stands out, especially when zoomed out. Bold and bright colors. Against a UI largely comprised of muted tones, color and contrast help make the traits easy to spot wherever they can be found. Furthermore, almost every color used for trait icons can be found within the stained glass window in the character screen. Most icons start with red, green, blue, or gold as their primary color, and an accent with one or more colors of a neutral variant. Geometric design. The look for this family of icons was influenced by that stained glass window, both in terms of color and in terms of shape. By keeping all the icons geometric and solid, they cue the viewer that all of the icons go together. This curvy feather, for example, looks cool, but the geometric feather looks better when paired with all the other trait icons. In this theme, the icons all do not have a background, so that they cannot be mistaken for buttons, and so that their silhouette remains distinct. The exception that proves the rule are the passion icons, because this is a set of a dozen plus traits that all do the same thing, but vary in little details. Therefore, they have one shape and a dozen details. Finally, all the trait icons are pulled together into one cohesive unit by sharing the same 4 pixel black stroke, a drop shadow, and a little lighting glow for visual interest. And that's it for this week! We hope you're enjoying Alpha 21, and we hope to see your own traits in the game sometime. In the meantime, leave us feedback here or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!